All right, what's up boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh V, and today I want you to introduce you to my new, to me, 1997 Toyota 4Runner. Two caveats with this vehicle. I actually picked it up for $1,000, um, super, super cheap. It's a four cylinder, non four wheel drive, uh, manual transmission, uh, 220,000 miles on it, but still $1,000 for this thing is super cheap. So, like I said, two problems. One, it has not passed smog yet. I don't know if it will. The customer, the guy selling it was just like, I don't want to deal with it, which could be a bad sign. But whatever, for a thousand bucks, I think this thing is still a good deal. And number two is it looks like this. All right guys, so tires are bald, the wheels are crappy. The running board on this side is good, the other side it's missing a piece, but that's fine because I'm actually just planning on re uh, removing them completely. Uh, the front bumper is dented. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting, but the rear bumper is dented. It's sort of sagging off there. The rear hatch will not open it has been dented and has a little bit of rust. Uh, and as you can tell, the paint is completely, completely oxidized. So the main reason I bought this thing is to create a lot of content for you guys. Um, the paint, although it's super oxidized, when it gets wet, it does look shiny. So I should be able to cut through all that oxidation, make it shine. So we'll do a full exterior detail video. Interior detail, obviously it's pretty hammered inside there. So we'll make, do a really good video, full extraction, all that kind of stuff, cleaning that up. Um, we'll replace the bumpers, I think. Um, so we're gonna be doing interior, exterior, polish, um, new wheels and tires, removing the side steps. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to vinyl wrap this car. Um, I haven't decided what color yet, but I'll do a full vinyl wrap video as well. And today we're gonna go ahead and get started by removing these um, side steps here. We're gonna get rid of those guys. It's got a few more dents along the sides as well, guys, but we're gonna remove those. And as I said, these tires are in pretty rough shape. You can see all the cracking um, and they're pretty bald. So, and plus it's just a steel wheel and that's fine. But since I'm gonna get new tires, I actually already was able to find a really nice set of takeoffs from a 2020 Tacoma. Um, the customer, uh, the guy had put on about 2000 miles before swapping them out for an aftermarket set of wheels and tires. Um, so I picked them up for 400 bucks. So we'll do a full, um, today we're gonna be removing those side skirts and putting on the new tires and then we'll film a full tire and wheel detail video, engine compartment detail video and go through the whole list of things. So make sure you guys are just subscribed down below. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started on this one.
right, so the next step is we're gonna be removing this side step. And it's just two bolts on the front, two bolts on the back, and then uh, the actual bracket is underneath. Uh, but we're just gonna remove these for now and then deal with that after. All right, guys, I got them off. It was a little bit of a tricky endeavor. Um, some of the bolts are rusted on. This thing has been a beach cruiser. Um, the guy that owned it previously just used it to go back and forth to the beach. So it's got plenty of uh, salt air to rust out those bolts. The rest of the body, uh, rest of everything else looks good. It looks pretty rust free. Uh, maybe some surface stuff, but nothing really bad. So pretty happy about that. They are off, the new tires are on. This thing looks completely different already, guys. I'm really pumped on this. Um, so I'll go ahead and flip you around and show you. And you can see just how much of a difference that made from what it was to what it is now. Um, again, this is a four cylinder, two wheel drive, but just looking at it, it looks like it's ready to roll. looks like it's ready to go to the mountains. So um, let's do our quick little build sheet. Uh, not, not necessarily build sheet, but just all the things that are wrong with it. Uh, let's go down each side panel and this side actually looks okay um, just looking for any dents let's see here yeah the body on this side looks pretty good this is sagging um, but I found a piece uh, a new bumper on carparts.com it's, it's under 200 bucks I'm gonna order a new front and rear because as you can see it's sagging here it's dented up through here um, so again I'm gonna be ordering a new rear bumper as well as the new front bumper because this one also is all dented up. So, uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna, they come black. Um, actually, the rear is gonna come chrome, so I'm gonna have to wrap that. But the front comes black and I haven't decided if I want to keep the bumpers black and wrap the rest of the vehicle or wrap everything. So I'll decide that. I'll probably wrap the whole vehicle and then end up with the bumpers and see if I wanna leave them black or, or wrap them. Next thing is the rear here. So. Um, again, that's pretty surface. It's not, I mean, it's definitely the metal is definitely not compromised there. So I think we'll be okay. I'll have my buddy come and pop that out along with this one here. Uh, do a little paintless dent removal on that. And while I took the, my daughters out for a ride last night, this window did stop working. Uh, I apologize. Not stop working, but it just comes up to about here and then gets stuck. Probably a result of this damage in the back. Also, the rear hatch does not work even when it's unlocked. Um, again, I think, you know, some sort of impact. The latches on these are just like a latch on a truck. They're plastic, they break, so not a big deal. I'll get into this inside panel and uh, get that replaced and that'll, that'll be no problem. When I also, also when I have this open, um, I'll be able to look at the track for the window and see what's going on there. Hopefully it's not much because it was working perfectly before. Uh, on this side, we do have some dents. As you can see here on the driver's side door. Um, so again, pretty minor. My, my dent guy should be able to take care of that, no problem. He's amazing. The stuff that they do is just crazy. Um, so everything else, again, dent on the bumper, that's gonna go away because we're getting a new bumper. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm gonna order those pieces. We'll be detailing the exterior, bringing this paint back before I wrap it. I wanna have a nice slick surface um, nice clean surface essentially really uh, cut out all that dead paint have a nice clean surface for the vinyl to adhere to and do whatever color I want to do um, it's pretty funny actually so now I, I am certified for uh, vinyl wraps and paint protection film I was just looking at this this is a 1997 and it has a little square of paint protection film right here um, on car state you'll see it, it usually comes up a little bit higher this is a tiny little patch and it's just kind of funny that they have it on there um, 1997 so anyways uh, interior 
everything works. All the windows and everything work. All the switches here work, except for, again, the rear window. Uh, it works, like I said, just only halfway. A super common problem with these is the clock goes out and this one has the clock that does not show up. So that's one of the issues. I'm really not concerned about that. I, I don't care about that at all. Uh, so I probably won't do anything with that. Other than that, these front seats are covered. Now these, these older forerunners always have damage to the front seat. And this one's actually pretty kind of, kind of minimal compared to some of the other ones I've seen. Like usually this whole, whole piece is ripped open. So this one's not bad. Um, haven't decided what I'll do with this yet. I'll probably end up repairing that and then I'll probably throw in cleaning it and then uh, putting a new cover on it over the top anyway. I'm gonna use this as kind of a work slash beach vehicle. So I'll probably get some neoprene seat covers and that should do it. So um, again, guys, make sure you subscribe down below to watch this build. Um, it's gonna be a really, really satisfying exterior detail. The polishing it should be super, super satisfying as well as the interior detail, uh, engine detail, wheel detail, the whole nine yards. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna check the oil on this thing right now. There is a lot of oil underneath the car. However, it is not an active leak. Um, it's been parked here a couple days and, and no leak. So I'm hoping it's from something before and, and it just never got cleaned up properly. Anyways, thank you so much guys. Again, subscribe, I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.